Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and this is this week's housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of August the 18th. 2024. And let's dive right on in and get you your data. First thing I want to point out, a bit of a surprise to me, is that median list prices have actually been going up since the week of July the 4th. And remember, we talked about right after that week that that July 4th week is always a pivotal week in the real estate market uh, nationwide and certainly in our area as well, where a lot of the advantages and opportunities in the housing market locally begin to recede a little bit. And make no mistake, that is the story that we're going to see developing here today, but not with median list prices. As you can see, they're actually up just a few thousand dollars since the week of July the 4th. Now that simply means that more expensive homes in the upper segments of our market have been entering the marketplace. I would expect to see that number also decline in relation to all the other metrics that we are seeing decline. And that really only means a couple of different things. Either A, it's just, like I say a lot, you know, people can't always control the timing of when they need to buy or sell a home. That's just the way that it is. Not everybody has the luxury of being able to be very selective in the timing of buying or selling their property. But it could also mean that us agents in our local market have not been doing a good enough job of educating the people in our community about the cyclical nature and the patterns of the real estate market and trends, not just nationally, but specifically and most relevantly in our market here in Florence, and hence why we do what we're doing right here, right now, this evening. So with that being said, let's look at exactly what I'm talking about, because every other metric indicates that seasonal decline is in fact beginning to take place as was anticipated. And so we'll start with the average days on market. And as you can see, going back to about mid-July, the decline in the average days on market halted and we've been stable since then around 77 days on the market. Remember I said at that time, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything is going to shift back in the opposite direction immediately. It just means that some of the trends, the favorable trends, in this case, the decline or the decrease in the average days on market, the rapid drop would begin to settle off. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. As you can see on your screen, since July the 19th, that decline there ceased and we've been stabilized around 77 days for almost a month now. Properties with a price decrease. Also since mid-July, the decline in the properties with a price decrease halted and now that number is also starting to go back up as predicted now at 35, basically 0.2%, which is not bad. That's not a um, bad number, but now the average of properties that are on the market listed in Florence, that are having to decrease their price before getting an offer accepted, before getting them sold is now starting to slowly increase again after months of that average being on the decline. So all this really means is that some of the favorable metrics that were showing themselves over the last few months are now starting to slowly dwindle away. It's not the end of the world for house sellers. It just simply means that the best window of our year for 2024 is quite possibly closing as, as we've looked at over the last couple months, uh, specifically though since July the 4th. Now we live in a very headline-driven culture and the fact is that a lot of the headlines have read that mortgage rates are lower, lowering, however you want to say it. And that could be a variable that could shift some of this and be favorable for some of you home sellers out there. Uh, that remains to be seen how this plays out over the, the coming weeks. But for now, we're seeing exactly what we expected to see. But what I do want to show that's also very important are these two things that could be encouraging or discouraging, uh, depending on how you're looking at it. For home buyers, it would be encouraging to note that inventory is still increasing. And so right now, on average, we're at a mark significantly higher than where we were this time a year ago with a 90-day average of 167 units, this time last year being 123. You'd have to go back two years ago where inventory was at 151. So we're at a number right now that this time of the year, as far as inventory goes, we haven't been as high. You'd have to go back to 2020 where we were at 220 units on a 90-day average in mid-August of uh, 2020. So that should be encouraging for home buyers. You've got a lot more options right now than you've had over the last couple of years on average. And for home sellers, you should still be encouraged also that going back to April of this year, home prices have steadily been going up for 2024 with an average of $147 per square foot. 
And that does hold true going back to mid-April, essentially across all segments of the market in Florence, as you can see here. With the bottom portion of our market seeing a slight decrease over the last couple of weeks, we'll see what happens with that. But holistically speaking, home prices are still going up. It's amazing. So there's a good bit of relevant up-to-date current information that hopefully you will find helpful out there. Again, this data updates every Friday. And again, if you want to receive these market reports, they're free. They can come directly to your inbox weekly. The same reports that I'm looking at, I can have sent to you. You simply just need to reach out to me and send me your email address. So look, if you found this information helpful, please give the video a like. It helps us out a lot. We really appreciate it. We're here to serve you in the community of Florence. We're here to educate you about all things relevant real estate in relation to your property or any endeavors or moves that you may be considering making. And so as always, all of my contact information is down in the description. If you'd like to get down into the weeds or go into further detail of any of this stuff and how it applies to your specific situation, please feel free to give me a call, text, or email. I would love to speak with you about your real estate needs. And with that being said, I won't hold y'all up any longer this evening. Again, I hope that you found this helpful. I look forward to talking to y'all soon. And in the meantime, y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.